Üdvözlet mindenkinek, és salom! Valakinek kérdése van, javaslata vagy hozzászólása, megtalál minket ezeken az elérhetőségeken, és egyben lehetősége van mindenkinek arra, hogy amennyiben hasznosak találja a munkánkat, hozzájáruljon ahhoz. Így még több emberhez el tud jutni az információ, és nem csak egy oldalú lesz ez a folyamat. Köszönet, hála és dicsőség a Bajahuának! If I borrow money, guess what? Do I pay taxes on debt? I guess no. Why is that? So when they lend out money, that's how money is created. Money is debt. Then why is debt tax free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. And so the banks, they love people, borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money. And I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. No one should buy a home. Interesting. Which is the opposite of the American Homes dream. were not built for people. Homes were built for banks. The bank created that product to sell money. You can't just loan people money. You need a product in between. Like when people start really understanding what I'm telling them, they're like, wait, what did he just say? The bank can't lend money for just money. Like you need a reason to borrow money. Oh, you're starting a business. That's a reason, but it's really risky for the bank. What if a bunch of bankers sitting around drinking bourbon? Do we, we need to lend more money. We got to lend money out, man. That's how we make money. We get people to give us a dollar. We lend it out nine times. We lend it out nine times. We need something to lend the money on. So back in the 50s, they're like, everybody should have a home. They grinned. Everybody should have a home, right? Oh man, that's pretty good. We should call it something like the American dream. Getting about the enemies, the enemies you can't talk to so easily. I'd make our allies pay their fair share. We're a debtor nation. Something's going to happen over the next number of years with this country because you can't keep going on losing 200 billion and yet we, we let Japan come in and dump everything right into our markets and everything. It's not free trade. If you ever go to Japan right now and try to sell something, forget about it, Oprah. Just forget about it. It's almost impossible. They don't have laws against it. They just make it impossible. They come over here, they sell their cars, their VCRs, they knock the hell out of our companies. And hey, I have tremendous respect for the Japanese people. I mean, you can respect somebody that's beating the hell out of you, but they are beating the hell out of this country. Kuwait, they live like kings. The poorest person in Kuwait, they live like kings. And yet they're not paying. We make it possible for them to sell their oil. Why aren't they paying us 25% of what they're making? It's a joke. Upset about where Australia was heading. This was a very different Mad Max. Questions about this foreign debt and where this foreign debt's coming from. Uh, it, you, you get hold of this foreign debt to get us out of trouble. And then they have something called foreign aid, which is, uh, it'd be okay if it was feeding starving children or something, but it's not. They're giving many millions to countries like Red China, North Vietnam, South Korea, to develop steel industries. And they give this money to them interest-free. But you know who has to pay the interest on that money? The Australian taxpayer has to pay the interest on that money. And to add insult to injury, they are creating industries in competition with our own steel industry. Now they're telling us from both sides to be more productive, stick together, get in front, be more productive, get ahead again, and at the same time they're slipping a quid overseas to make sure that they successfully stifle our own industries. You're obviously hot under the collar. Huh? I am damn hot under the collar, and, and, and I care about this nation. Do you know why they tell you to save money? I don't know. Because the system of banking, your, it's nothing to do with communism or capitalism. It's the banks run the world. The banks run the world. The banks run the world. Uh. The rich run the world. The rich run the world. The rich run the world. Uh. They don't care if you're communist or capitalist. So when you save, so let's say you save one dollar US or one euro or one yen, the banking system can lend out 10. Hey Ray-Ban, why are your sunglasses so expensive? Well, we use cutting edge technology to create it. Hold that thought, I'm gonna call your manufacturer. Hello factory, how much does it cost to make one pair of Ray-Bans? It costs anywhere from eight to $15. We also make Burberry and Prada on the same assembly line. We just slap on a different logo at the end. Wow, that's cheap. I like to place an order for a case of 50. Sorry kid, can't do that. Ray-Ban and the other brands I listed are all owned by the world's largest eyewear monopoly that controls 80% of the world's supply. It's called Luxottica. 
And by the way, this is their factory. So if you want to buy these glasses, you'll have to buy them at the market price. Ah, <sighs> another monopoly. Hey, by the way, I'm curious, what's the markup on these? I really shouldn't say, but it's about a thousand percent or so. One thousand percent? Jeez, I gotta start my own monopoly. Here's how billionaires avoid taxes by using charities. This might be the biggest loophole I've ever seen. Yep, just took the company public and now I'm worth five billion dollars. Hey, not so fast. Uh, taxes are still due. You owe us a billion dollars. Oh, no, I was actually going to donate a billion dollars to a charity. A charity that I created. Oh, well, if you're donating the money, you don't owe any taxes on it. What are you going to do with a charity that has a billion dollars? I've got some ideas. Hey, Stanford, um, I know my son didn't do well on his SAT scores, but my charity would like to make a donation to Stanford. You know, maybe you could pull a few strings. So my million dollars is safe in your bank. Yeah. And if you guys go bankrupt, you'll only insure 25% of my money? Yep. And even though it's my money, I can't take out all of my money at once because there's a withdrawal limit. Yes. And I get penalized if I don't have too much money in my account. That's right. Hmm. And lastly, when you invest my money and get around a 10% return, you'll give me like 0.01% back. Mm-hmm. Well, sounds good to me. Here's my money. The guaranteed basic income idea. It's like, well, that's predicated on the idea that man lives by bread alone. Well, that isn't how it works, and I've certainly seen that in my clinical practice. I've had clients, especially addicts, if you gave them money, they would die. And the reason for that, like one guy that I remember in particular, I liked him quite a bit. He had a bad cocaine problem. And uh, as long as he was flat broke, he wasn't dead. But as soon as his, he was on disability, as soon as his disability check came in, he was face down in the ditch three days later. So, well, and you think, well, maybe that's a consequence of his overwhelming poverty, etc. You could come up with some social reason for the, that path that he took, but it wasn't by any stretch of the imagination that simple. It's like people need purpose more than money even. Valakinek kérdése van, javaslata vagy hozzászólása, megtalál minket ezeken az elérhetőségeken, és egyben lehetősége van mindenkinek arra, hogy amennyiben hasznosabb találja a munkánkat, hozzájáruljon ahhoz. Így még több emberhez el tud jutni az információ, és nem csak egy oldalú lesz ez a folyamat. Köszönet, hála és dicsőség Abba Yahuának, és Shalom!